hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to do the second trimester update i'm going to keep it short and sweet um but i know you really like my first trimester update and a lot of you said that you had the exact same symptoms so i want to share with you um, about how i was feeling now i'm at the beginning of the third trimester this is my first week in the third trimester There's a lot of burping in the second trimester, <laughs> but anyway, um, so this is now I'm in my third trimester and I want to share with you how I was feeling for the past three months um, and what was kind of like a normal symptom, what was something different that I experienced. Um, if you follow my journey, you know that I had a complication. I'm going to leave the link from that video up here somewhere. Um, but that was happening at the end of the first trimester and the beginning of second trimester. So the first thing was that everywhere where I was reading like the pregnancy app or the book I'm having and read every day from it, um, it was saying that the second trimester was very nice and it was all good and your life was back to normal basically. But as I was suffering my complication with the subcarionic hematoma, everything was not normal everything was opposite to the normal and it was very very annoying and everywhere say that you can now work out you can go for walks you can go on vacation and i was in bed bleeding <laughs> so the first thing i want to mention to you is that it's okay if you're not feeling as the books or the internet tells you so if you're not as good as you should be it's all good it's okay it's normal and all bodies are different and you need to just adjust at your own pace so that was the first first thing um i have a list here in my pretty notebook um so i was making notes throughout the second trimester just the same way i did in my first trimester to make sure i remember everything and to give you the real raw updates um, it is true that the second trimester is way better than the first one because I think you get used to all the hormones and you get used to being pregnant and all the changes that happen in your body. Now you are kind of like used to them and you perceive the new feeling as the new normal. So you are more energetic, you are full of life again, you want to start organizing and you're kind of like beginning the nesting mode at least i did i was starting to just make sure i clean something new every day make sure the space is really clean really organized um and yeah i was just back to my normal schedule if you follow my first video about the first trimester update you know that i was saying that the the most difficult part for me was that I was not able to keep my schedule and I'm thriving on a schedule but in the second trimester I was able to go back to my routine to my schedule to just be productive and be excited about new projects and new things so that was a plus on the second in the second trimester I was starting to sleep good so um, in the first trimester I was not sleeping good because of the complication I had, my pregnancy insert, inserted itself very low and was pushing my bladder like um, other pregnancy would push in the third trimester. So I was up all night peeing and that was horrible. So in my second trimester that changed because uh, the pregnancy went a little bit up, it grew and the placenta moved as well so it was no longer pushing on my bladder and I was able to sleep throughout the night. Maybe I was still waking up um, once to go pee just because I was drinking a lot of water before bed just to keep hydrated but um, just once during the night so it was acceptable. I was able to sleep good and enjoy a good night's sleep. Um, I did have a little bit of insomnia though, so I was trying to fall asleep as usual. So around 10 we are going to bed and then by 11, 11.30 we are already asleep. But I couldn't do that for <laughs> some reason. My brain was very active, 
but I think it was also because the baby started to kick and I was feeling those kicks so bad at night. It does say in my book that I'm reading about pregnancy that babies start to kick a lot when you are laying down and when your muscles are relaxed. So maybe that's why that's a reason because the baby started to kick a lot. I was able to feel it way more intense than before in the first trimester and that kept me up more <laughs> but um just for one hour let's say so i was asleep by midnight and i was still enjoying a good night's sleep so that's that's pretty acceptable what else um oh i start to have headaches so if i was not sleeping throughout the night or just i don't know maybe six or seven hours i was having headaches and that was pretty weird for me because i am not a person who usually has headaches paul in the con on the contrary he's got headaches all the time <laughs> but i am not a person who was used to ha having headaches so this was kind of weird for me and was very annoying because i knew it was sometimes some kind of related to pregnancy and i was trying to push myself to sleep more just not to have these headaches um I started to feel the need of having healthy foods, so I was more excited about cooking, about finding new recipes. I just I was craving healthy stuff. <laughs> um, in the first trimester, I was not in particular. I was not paying attention in, like to what I was eating. I was just eating whatever I could, so I would feel good. But in the second trimester, I started to have this craving for healthy stuff. Working out, that is probably my favorite part. Um, I did work out throughout the second trimester, so after my bleeding and the complications stopped and everything was back to normal, I was able to work out. Um, I did wait for my doctor approval, so after my doctor said it was okay and fine for me to work out, I was finally able to work out again and that made me feel so good. It made me feel like normal, I really enjoy working out. Um, I obviously avoided all the abs um, exercises, but I did um, work out my legs, arms, back, did a lot of yoga and stretches, and that feels really good. For working out, I'm using Pamela's Rave's channel. Um, I will put it in the description down below, but she is the best. She has short videos, like 10 minutes and I was able to pick and choose what I was doing and she also has dance workouts and I really love those because it was a form of cardio I was just picking the exercises I could do and I was feeling safe to do but I was still sweating and feeling really good about myself afterwards so I really enjoy working out with Pamela so if you don't know about her please check her out she is amazing another thing that happened in the second trimester um, is that I was getting headaches or my eyes got really tired from sitting in front of a screen or laptop TV whatever for too long so I bought uh, blue light glasses and they really helped so I didn't know if that was associated with pregnancy or just me getting older and <laughs> you know not seeing properly anymore but um, my vision is really good and it's fine it was just that I was getting tired and I got headaches from sitting too much um, in front of a screen, editing or just on the phone as well. So I got the blue light glasses and they really help with that. So apparently it's another pregnancy symptom. In 20 to 25 weeks, my belly started to grow a lot. Um, so it did become a bit uncomfortable, especially during the night, but my pillow comes in really really helpful and um, if you didn't see my must-haves or things that I bought during pregnancy I'm going to link that video up here as well and the pregnancy pillow I have it is amazing for offering me the support I need during the night and during the second trimester I put on 7.2 kilograms so um, I was 55 when I started the pregnancy and now I'm around 62, 63 kilograms. So it's not a lot, but it does feel a bit of more uncomfortable and I need to adjust my outfits a lot.
another thing that I wrote here is that I hate stairs. <laughs> so, so now we live on the second floor. Um, we live with Paul's parents and we have kind of like the attic for ourselves and that's the second floor. So all day we're going up and down the stairs and I really, really hate stairs. It is so hard for me to breathe right now, although I do enjoy working out and being active all day and I'm fine with that, but with stairs, it's a whole different story. I hate them. Um, oh, the baby, as I told you, started kicking a lot and we also uh, felt the first hiccups, I think, three days ago. So that would basically be in the third trimester, but we did <laughs> feel the hiccups just now so i'm telling you it is so weird <laughs> but the baby kicks a lot and it also has um i can see a pattern in like how the baby behaves so he's going to start kicking if i lay on one side and he's not comfortable but then if i move on the other side and it's all good and comfortable it will stop kicking and i think it falls asleep especially during the night but i kind of like feel the baby more and try to understand what the baby likes and what the baby doesn't like um but that's all i have like i told you today's video is gonna be short and sweet um, there's not much going on in the second trimester um it's just life coming back to normal it will come back to normal at your own pace and depending on your body but it does feel better you are able to have more energy to work out to be active um, so that's a really good part. The baby's kind of a bit annoying <laughs> at night because the baby starts kicking uh, and you're able to feel the kicks. But other than that, it's all good. It's Hi, it's me editing. <laughs> and I just realized I forgot two really important symptoms and they are bad symptoms. Um, the third will be that during pregnancy you do forget the bad stuff happening to you because you're so excited and you really want to meet your baby and everything seems really nice but I forgot these two really bad things that happened. First, I started to have um, leg cramps during the night. Oh, and they are painful, like you would just wake up in the middle of the night in pain and your muscle would be stiff as a stone and you could massage it and try everything but nothing would work until the cramp would naturally go away. And I did some research, asked my doctors as well and they say it's a little bit of evidence that these cramps happen because of a deficit in your body of magnesium, calcium or potassium. Uh, but I was taking these supplements uh, for, I don't know, a month, two months and nothing happened. I still had leg cramps during the night. Now they seem to slow down a little bit, not to have them as often, but I still have them and they are absolutely horrifying, horrible, <laughs> you name it. Um, but it is a normal thing that happens in pregnancy, especially during the second trimester. And it has something to do with the size of your uterus pushing on nerves stuff around there but if you're experiencing them i'm really sorry for you and the second thing is at the beginning of the uh, second trimester um so just as i was uh, moving from the first trimester to the second trimester that period of time i started to have really bad um tailbone pains but they were not constant so one day I could have really bad tailbone pains and I couldn't walk or, um, just I don't know stay in one position for too long and then the next day I wouldn't feel a thing so it was just random tailbone pain and in my book in the pregnancy book it says that it is normal it's a normal sign of pregnancy in the second trimester so they happen because of a hormone in your body that's increasing it's called relaxin i believe sorry if i say it wrong uh, but this hormone basically prepares your body for labor and your body is relaxed so it increases during pregnancy and this uh this hormone it actually relaxes the area um that should be stiff <laughs> so the tailbone should be in a 
stiff position but because of this hormone everything gets relaxed down there and it causes pain so what can help is to add an extra pillow when you're sitting down so you make everything softer and will help with the pain um, and also just try to move and not sit in one position for too long um, that went away in like two weeks so I didn't have tailbone pain um, just at the beginning of the second trimester but yeah this is the little update I forgot to <laughs> I forgot to add in the video and I wanted to tell you and these are the blue glass uh, blue light glasses that I mentioned in the video that I'm using for editing so if you're in your first trimester right now and you feel like everything is going wrong and everything is horrible don't worry it will start to get better um, and you will really enjoy the second trimester I hope the third trimester will be <laughs> as good as the second one although I think my me getting bigger and the baby getting little space there it will be a little bit more uncomfortable but I'll continue being active and I will continue working out and eating healthy stuff so hopefully um, it will pass really quickly oh yeah that's another thing it passed so quickly so when you feel good it doesn't feel like you're pregnant and it just it flies by you don't really feel the second trimester but yeah i hope you enjoyed today's little update and if you're pregnant i hope you're feeling good and you have a nice easy pregnancy and i cannot wait to see you next time Bye.